Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another DIY bride bridal series video. This is perfect if you're getting married in the summer and you want glowy, bronzy, really healthy looking skin and makeup that actually lasts, especially in the heat. I recently did a friend's bridal makeup trial and you guys went crazy for it. I posted a little sneak peek on my Instagram stories and all of you wanted to see it filmed, so that's what I did. So if you guys wanna see this summery, bridal, and glowy makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start off with a primer because in summer, with the heat, we need long-lasting makeup, and this one tends to be my favorite primer. I'm not a primer person, but I do always use this when I want longer lasting makeup. Moving on to a little bit of glow, I'm taking a cult favorite, I feel like everyone loves this product, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the shade 3, light medium, and I'm just going to put this basically everywhere, keeping it away from like the center of my face, like right beside my nose where I get really oily, but mostly everywhere because it's going to be our base glow product, and then we're going to go on top of this with our foundation. Okay, see how that gives like such a natural radiance to your face. If you really want minimal coverage, you could just go on with this in like a skin tint or a BB cream, and that will just give you a nice glowy base. But because I want a little bit more longevity and I want a little bit more coverage, I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow. Love this foundation. I used it on so many bridal clients in the past who wanted more of a softer finish on their face. In my previous bridal tutorial, which I'll link down below, I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear with a beauty sponge. Love that foundation, but that's for someone who wants like full glam. This is a little bit more on the natural side, but you're still gonna get great coverage because it's buildable. See what I mean by like a soft finish? You can still see the glow of the Charlotte Tilbury product underneath but it looks a lot more perfected. And if you wanna go a little bit even more perfected, just go in with a concealer. I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use the shade Custard for my face, so if I have any blemishes or scars that are still popping through, this will give you the perfect amount of added coverage. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Concealer in Fair 1W. Absolutely love this, and this is really gonna brighten up our face. I'm actually going to leave the concealer here for a hot minute just because it is quite a liquidy concealer but the coverage is unreal like the pigmentation in this concealer is incredible but I want it to dry down ever so slightly so we're actually going to move on to our cream bronzer which is none other than the Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair. I'm going to use the same sponge. A sponge with this specific look is going to be your best friend just because it's going to shear any product out a little bit more. I feel like I have a hair on my face that I need to get rid of. I'm going to take a very small amount on the angle part of the sponge and we're going to go and you can see where my jawline is. I'm going to go just above it and then keep blending up and out. This is going to give us dimension, bronzy glow. I just feel like, especially in the summer, if you're gonna wear your hair back, which I feel like is so striking for a bride, definitely use those cream products because it just blends into the hairline, it mimics your skin texture, it gives you added glow without looking shiny, it's just so healthy and radiant looking. Obviously you can still use powder, um, but if you just wanna amplify that healthy, lit from within look, go with cream. Now I'm going in with a second layer just to further deepen it because why not <laughs> and i always say especially for brides go a little bit heavier than you're used to for picture reasons i feel like pictures always mute or drown out a little bit of color so you want to go a little bit heavier than you're used to also don't forget your ears and it will just show up a little bit nicer on camera now that we have the cream bronzer on we're going to go back with the sponge and start blending out our concealer this is also going to clean up if we over blend it a little bit with the bronzer. It's also going to brighten up a lot under our eyes. Now right away I'm going to take my setting powder. I love the Huda Beauty ones. These are called, what are they called? Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. They are such a name. I use Pound Cake for under my eyes because it's the most brightening. But I also love the Laura Mercier setting powder as well. Oh! <laughs> I have a little. Come over here. You want to say hi? What is that? Umbrella. Your umbrella? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very pink. Now you can skip this step if you're not an oily skin girl. If you are, you probably want to put a little bit of powder reassurance on the cream bronzer. 
whether or not it's cream, even if you use a powder on top with oily skin, it's still gonna blend the powder into the cream and it's still gonna look creamy at the end. If you're an oily skin girl, you just know the, you already know the situation. So I'm just gonna lightly put a little bit of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer on top just to secure it, but it's not gonna mat it down or anything. It's just a little bit of extra reassurance for a day long event. Moving on to cream blush. I have two here that I'm gonna to blend together. This one is from Florence Mills. It's in the shade Zen Z. It looks a lot more, well, definitely online. It looks a lot more like brown, dark nude, but it's definitely a really wearable soft mauve. So I'm gonna put this mostly everywhere on my cheekbones, like right into my eye socket, above my eyebrow, and then blend it and buff it out onto my cheekbone. And then for just a touch of added pink and softness and femininity, I'm gonna take the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek in Demure. This is the most beautiful, cool pink shade, and it's just gonna give an extra pop of brightness right on the center of our cheek. Last thing for face is this cream face base from MAC. I got it in Hush after you guys were telling me if I loved Shell in this so much, I would love Hush. And you're right, I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. I'm just gonna take my fingers and pop it on the high points of my face, and it just brings in the most beautiful glow like from within it's not glittery or you know pc it's just so beautiful moving on to eyes i'm going to take this clear brow gel from bare minerals i use the tinted one in chestnut a lot too i just want to spread out my brow hairs a little bit i did have a little bit of the max spiked brow pencil in just in sparse areas but i don't want it to be like a really powerful strong brow whoops just drop that i want it to be a little bit softer on the face and more spread out so fill them in wherever you see a sparse area but also just let like the brow hairs do the talking if you know what i mean also bought this off of your recommendation it's the tweezerman lash curler it is unreal you guys honestly your recommendations are incredible keep them coming so i'm just going to do this quickly before we move on to eyeshadow so for shadow this is probably the easiest part of the look i literally took two shadows just to create a really shiny bronzy and like shimmery eye so that everything just blended together beautifully so i took this tom ford palette which i think i wore on my wedding day here in northern ireland it's the 04 honeymoon palette which i thought was very fitting but i took the lightest shade in the palette and i mixed it with a little bit of the bronzier shade literally just with my fingers so that's what i'm going to do here sticking to more of the lighter bronzy shade and i put it all over the lid and just blend it out and up so that it was kind of meeting the outer corner of your brow so simple so easy but just such a beautiful wash of like a bronzy shimmer shade and then i went in with this which is the shiseido the Aura Dew in Solar 02. This definitely has a little bit more of a sparkle, a little bit more brightness to it. So this is what I did. I took my setting spray, which is the Professional by Benefit, sprayed my pinky finger with it. It's very fine mist. And then I just rubbed it in so it caught a little bit more. And then I patted it in the very center of the lid. It gives the most beautiful shine and shimmer. It is such a beautiful shadow. Almost gives a wet look to your eye. A little bit in the inner corner as well. You can see it just gives the most beautiful little sparkle whenever you blink. Love that so much. And then I took a brown liner. This is Max Photogravure. Just any brown liner will do. And created the slightest little flick at the outer corner, almost to resemble like a little lash that went out a little bit further at the sides. Nothing dramatic, definitely not a strong, bold wing. It was a very slight flick. Now I'm going to take mascara. This is the part where I'd probably add individual lashes just to customize a little bit more flutteriness. That's not a word. A little bit more flutter to the eyes, a little bit more, you know awakeness but don't have any with me so i'm just gonna go ham on the mascara which is the maybelline colossal smoky black this one gets a little bit messy but the result is insane paired with my uk lash serum my lashes have been amazing but beware this one can get messy see what i mean literally already a dot that's one coat of mascara it is so good I'm gonna let that dry down. While it's drying, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do my lips and then I'll go back and do a second coat. I have Pinky Brown from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna totally do my entire lip on this just because 
Whenever you want your lipstick to last, always take the lip liner you're wearing and put it all over your lip. It creates a little bit like a lip primer and it really makes any color on top last super long. I'm gonna take the slightest bit of Huda Beauty Terracotta just at the outer corners to give further definition. My lipstick of choice is this small business. It's Higher, the collective, I believe. I found it on an Instagram ad and this color is such a beautiful bridal shade. It's in the shade Chateau and I'm just gonna put it all over my lips, just dabbing it on. It's such a pretty beigey pink. Okay, I just did a second quick coat there. I'm also gonna take that same brown liner and do a very small amount on the lower lash line, just at the outer corner. This look is definitely calling for some gloss. So this is a new NARS gloss in Sun Blush or Sun Rush? Sun Rush. Pretty sun-kissed pink kind of shade. I'm gonna pop it in the center just for some glow. And then to finish this look off, I'm taking the iconic London Prep Set and Glow in bronze, I believe, or glow. I think there's an original shade. This is a glow shade. It has a little bit more bronziness to it. It is stunning. So let's just douse our face in this. And if you're oily, take the Benefit Professional down the center of your face and it just makes sure that that oil stays at bay for as long as possible. So this is the final look. I love this makeup. It is so glowy. I feel really beautiful and it lasts really long, which is great, especially in a summer wedding, whether you're the guest or the bride, bridesmaid, whatever it is, it's really beautiful, summer, glowy, long lasting makeup. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.